I'm Crystal Faulkner with the CPA and Business Advisory Firm of Cooney Faulkner & Stevens. We're here today with Greg Hardman. Greg's the President and CEO of the Christian Moore Line Brewing Company and Hugh Pole Shangling Brewing Company. And Greg, you've got a lot of great things going on. You recently opened a brand new manufacturing facility in Over the Rhine, the Christian Moore Line Brewing Company. What's that mean to the whole Christian Moorline brand? Well, what it means is uh, we're bringing back uh, all the production uh, to Cincinnati, so we're really excited about that. I started out with a four-phase plan um, back in 2004, and that was to bring back the local ownership of uh, Cincinnati's great beer brands, uh, followed by uh, reposition the brands, make them more relevant, uh, opening of the Moorline Lager House, and now the uh, expansion and opening of the uh, Christian Moorline Brewery and Over the Rhine. You know, Greg, I've talked to you many times, and I always tell you that I think you single-handedly bring, bringing back the great brewing heritage that we have in the city. But there's a lot more than just the brewing heritage. This is really an economic development activity, and certainly going to help our region overall. Well, actually, uh, the greater we expand ourselves uh, uh, right in over the Rhine, we'll be able to uh, uh, in increase employment. Um, and uh, we also believe in the uh, economic tourism factor. Uh, people will come to uh, the Christian Moorline Brewery, experience uh, uh, our beers, our production facility. So we're really ecstatic about that. And you, do you see the, the new brewing facility actually as a place, a destination place where people can come and tour, they can have beer tastings? I've even heard talk of a of a trail, some type of a beer trail? Well, actually, uh, we're really excited about the, the, the location that we have. It is in the heart of the Over the Rhine Brewing District. Uh, we are in a pre-prohibition brewing company called the Kaufman Brewery. Uh, we're also, uh, the other part of the uh, brewing facility uh, used to be the Husman Potato Chip Plant. And uh, we are right on the uh, Cincinnati uh, Brewing Heritage Trail uh, that's uh, going to be coming to life. So we're, we're really excited about that. We're one part of it, and uh, we think that it's going to be a, a great economic driver for our city. Well, we are so excited about that. And if folks would like to go down to actually tour your facility, can they do that now? Uh, actually, uh, we do give tours uh, both at the Moorline Logger House, uh, and they can get tour information at uh, www.moorlineloggerhouse.com uh, uh, or uh, at christianmoorline.com. And certainly, if you've not been down to the Moorline Logger House, it's an amazing facility in and of itself. It's right on Smell Riverfront Park. And we're going to continue our conversation talking to Greg Hardman, who is the CEO and president of Christian Moorline Brewing Company, on wcpo.com slash businesswise. So let's talk a little bit about the Moorline Longer House, Greg, because it is a fabulous facility. And it was not just by chance that you just happened to open up that facility right there on the river. How did you get to that place? Well, actually, uh, part of my four phase plan was to uh, open a. Uh uh, a Moorline Logger House that celebrated Cincinnati's Grand Brewing Heritage. Uh, and the uh, Cincinnati Park Board uh, had a wonderful site uh, right, at, right on the river in Smell Riverfront Park. Uh, and uh, they were looking to have a, uh, a world-class feature celebrating Cincinnati's uh, heritage uh, as well as uh, the world-class park. So it is a great partnership. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, people are uh, uh, claiming that it's uh, one of the greatest brew pubs in the world. It's spectacular when you go in, uh, and it does celebrate Cincinnati's uh, great beer brands and grand brewing traditions. And it's so much fun. We can't forget about the fun factor, right? <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Uh, the first floor at the Logger House is uh, uh, definitely a little bit more lively. Uh, the second floor uh, is a little quieter. Uh, we do have a gastro pub. We do carry uh, uh, upwards of uh, 200 different styles of beer along with freshly brewed beer right at the Moorline Lager House. And we have an excellent chef, uh, Chef Carl Chambers, that uh, uh, prepares uh, wonderful dishes and uh, nightly specials. So it's really exciting. You know, Greg, you mentioned your four phase plan. You've been planning this for many, many years, haven't you? How do you take a plan that you started thinking of back in the 80s to where we are today? Well, um, basically, you put together a strategic vision and uh, you just uh, uh, take off uh, tiny bits of it, uh, place objectives every single year, uh, achieving those objectives, and uh, eventually uh, uh, you get to uh, uh, fulfilling that plan. And you started this out really just as a big vision. You were actually working at a different organization. Uh, yeah, I used to be the uh, president and CEO of uh, Varsteiner Importers Agency, which is the uh, wholly owned sub sub subsidiary of the Warsteiner Brewery, handling uh, uh, North American sales of, uh, of Varsteiner beer. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, 
Um, I had uh, had a lot of uh, touch points over the years with uh, Utapol Shane Ling uh, Brewing Company as well as with Cincinnati Brewing Heritage. Uh, fell in love with it and uh, saw an opportunity and decided that uh, uh, this was my uh, destiny to bring that back. And you actually were involved, weren't you, when you actually saw some of the demise of some of the great brands? I, I was there. I, I literally saw Utapol Brewing Company close. Uh, I saw the uh, Shane Ling Brewing Company uh, um, shut down, uh, sell off. I saw Utapol Shaling Distributing Company go away. So um, I saw a lot of uh, uh, heartache um, and I felt that if I was in a position to uh, uh, right that ship, I would do something about it. And uh, I felt that uh, this was a great opportunity. Uh, uh, it's the only city I know of that resurrected uh, not just one, but all of its great beer brands. That's right, and you were absolutely an instrumental part in doing that, Greg. And you mentioned a four-phase plan. So you've got the Christian Morlot and Lager House. You've got the brewing facility. What else? Well, um, we want to work very hard at bringing to life the, uh, uh, the uh, Cincinnati uh, Brewing Heritage Trail. Um, I am the uh, uh, president of the Over the Rhine Brewery District Community Urban Redevelopment Corporation. Uh, we are working closely with uh, uh, the city and uh, some other private partners to uh, bring that to life. So I'm really excited about the, that being the next phase. But uh, as I always say, stay tuned. Uh, uh, we'll have something exciting coming in the future uh, down with Christian Moorline. Well, Greg, thank you so much for being my guest and for everything you are doing for our community. It's exciting. Thank you.